Integration required two applications, which you can download from the ServiceNow store, Cisco ACI Application and Cisco ACI Orchestration. Cisco ACI Application uses the MID server to fetch the physical application topology and cloud inventory from the Cisco ACI Fabric Controller. Cisco ACI Orchestration is an add-on application on top of the Cisco ACI application. This application provides workflow activities for the creation, modification, and deletion of Cisco ACI managed objects. Use these activities to design custom workflows to manage ACI objects. With the System Administrator role, you can install the application from the ServiceNow store. We already installed the applications, so you can see that the applications are installed. Now let us look at configuring ACI. In the ServiceNow menu, click All. In the Filter field, enter Cisco ACI. Under Configuration, click Apex. You see we have existing instances. Let's proceed to create a new instance. At the top right of the APIC display, click New. In the dialog, enter the required information and any credentials and then click Add. You can also supply remote and external credentials in those tabs. We purposely misconfigured the APIC for this video to prevent adding unneeded items to the demo environment. In the top menu, click All, scroll to Scripts, then click Scheduled Jobs. You see the list of jobs that run in this environment to set up things. This image shows the jobs that we use daily to push data into the Cisco ACI application using incremental discovery and health and fault. If you clicked Cisco ACI incremental discovery, you see the details for the job and, if wanted could run the job by clicking execute now. The data populates the Cisco ACI dashboard which the demo guide describes. Let's look at Cisco ACI orchestration workflow capabilities. To do this, we use the workflow editor. In the top menu, click All. In the filter field, enter Workflow. Under Orchestration, click Workflow Editor. To see the Cisco ACI orchestration tasks we used in the demo to create various workflows, in the right display, click Packs, then under Orchestration Packs, expand the Cisco Systems Inc. section and then expand Cisco ACI orchestration. These are the tasks that we created to support the demo. We used the Flow Designer to build the order that the tasks run as shown in this image. We used Flow Designer to implement the flows that are shown in the previous image. Let's look at a specific flow. In ServiceNow, click All, then in the Filter field Enter Flow. Then click Flow Designer. In the Flow Designer, if you clicked the Sudoku flow, the system displays the flow as you designed it. This image shows the flow in the Flow Designer. If you expand the Call a Workflow, you see the parameters for the workflow, including the workflow name. The catalog reflects the same name. 
To wrap up things, let's look at the catalog entries that we built to support this demo. In ServiceNow, click All, then in the Filter field, enter Catalog and then, under Service Catalog, click Catalog Builder. To display the list of catalog items, in the Catalog Builder tab, click Catalog Items. Let's look at the request DPG in existing tenant item. Click Request DPG in existing tenant. The right panel displays the details about the catalog item, including a description of the item and any information you need to order the item successfully. The demo guide goes into the details of using the catalog items in this demo. If you scroll to the fulfillment section of the details, you see that flow that we used for this catalog item. This wraps up our behind the scenes look at how we constructed this demo. Thanks for watching.